Hey, people injured here, 3v3, Wrath of Bar, the blue team. We've got Rival plays a Lord General fight, strange combat, really good defense and support capabilities begins with a retinue of stormtroopers. This is the Fostroyan Firstborn Elite Scheme. Alongside Maximum BK is a Lictor Alpha melee specialist that can infiltrate and disrupt some awesome offense with a little bit of support too and rounding off this blue team is Snow One as an apothecary support commander that fights in melee combat begins with a targeted heal and a passive health regeneration aura looks like this is the Blood Angels elite scheme recolored which is why this apothecary looks death company-ish and red team Nuke 87654 is a chaos sorcerer offensive and disruptive commander lots of great manipulation and control abilities with some decent offense too and this is the Thousand Suns elite scheme Alongside Max Powers Force Commander, very good offense fights in melee combat can also tank, disrupt and support with buffs. And rounding off the teams is Deathwing as a Plague Champion starts off range combat with a damage over time bolter can get melee weapons, some decent utility and support can build turrets and repair but is very slow up against the Imperial Guard on the east side might be worthwhile to put a turret over there to try and lock down that contested power. Max Power backing away from the Lick to Ruff. Looks like he's already taken a scout model with his flesh hook and needs to get a sergeant up, which he is doing to spot that guy. Max Power backing off, and Snow does have his tactical marines and scouts. Mid Apothecary looks like he was forced off, and here comes Nuke. Now he needs to time this. Max Power needs to be involved. He's gone a little bit early here, I think. Max Power's force commander very slow moving up. But his tactical marines and scouts are in play. The sorcerer now in huge amounts of trouble. Hormagont's there eating his knees. Down he goes. Can they force off the red team here? The blue team, I should say, and revive that chaos sorcerer. That's a dead Hormagont brood, I think. Those heretics can turn around and finish them off. Doom Blast, there we go. Yeah, down go the Hormagons. They took a tactical marine model also. And a lively opening and a good start for red team. Force commander levels to two. Having revived the Chaos Sorcerer who is now idle. Meanwhile, east side, Rival has triple Guardsman. Should get some Raptors up, I think, Deathwing. But he does have double CSM. So he might choose Havocs instead to have that hard AV potential in uh, early tier 2. Oh, well, apparently he wants some Raptors from the looks of the chat. Tactical Marines capping this slightly natural rec point And Scouts capping the VP for the 2-1. to one. For red maximum gets some warriors and replaces his lost hormagaunts snow with double tactical marines these recolored blood angels red and white sentinel pushing forward with triple guardsman repairing it why is he shooting at the sentinel he should be picking models off those guardsmen he should be trying to force melee combat with his double csm he's gonna lose csm here look at this Losing two Chaos models off that CSM squad, that is really bad. He's going to lose a model off these guys as well. He's not putting things in cover. This is a really bad engagement for Deathwing. He played that all wrong. He should have been at least shooting at the Guardsman and at best trying to get into melee combat and fake out that Sentinel stomp. But as it stands, he just lost the models left and right a really poor engagement for him but he does have raptors on the way who's building this power then deathwing build wow he got two gens up double csm and now raptors here comes max power to help defend he's got assault marines on the field these guys jumping into combat disrupting enemies when they land and he might get the jump on the entirety of rivals army here there it is and it does disrupt every single infantry model including the Lord General and his retinue. There's the stomp though and there's the raptor jump. You see that cacophony like effect going off and they suppress nearby enemies. Raptors will do well here for him. He can jump and suppress all three of those guardsmen if he's lucky. He might get stomped but it's not a huge deal especially with everything suppressed and rival. I was gonna say he might get some catechins in response but he's gone for some spotters. So and he's getting catechins as well. Wow. Heavy tier 1 from Rival, heavy infantry tier 1 as well. CSM with Eternal War for Nuke. Snow's forces all forced to retreat and we might see a little push on his power here. Nope, he's happy. He's happy to just decap. And Max, having gone to the east side, has now lost 
his position mid, he's lost the VP and he's had his slightly natural wreck point tapped. And this is a bad engage of him. The Warriors though have gone for a buff Strangler which is surprising. Maybe he didn't know there were assault marines around since they went east immediately I think. But these warrior brood might lose the model here. That's a power sword force commander weighing in there. 50 DPS power melee. All of his forces retreating out though. Just the force commander left there. And we do have the feeder tendrils up for the Lictor Alpha. A power weapon that heals the Lictor Alpha with each hit. And some good DPS as you can see. It doesn't, doesn't have a ranged weapon like the force commander does with that sidearm plasma pistol who takes down a warrior brood model that's a synapse creature but down goes the force commander in retreat should be easy to revive him there and here comes nuke with double aspiring champion heretics good grief the barb strangler will do very well at trying to control these guys but they might just get jumped immediately in which case that'll be really bad because if the assault marines can jump in and tie them up and then double heretics Breathing down on you with Aspiring Champions is, is not a pretty sight. He does have double Toxin Sacks to try and control them. But that won't control them forever. Maybe get the Toxin away. Miasma for the Lictor Alpha and wade into combat there. Try and do some damage. Rival with a massive tier 1 army. Triple Guardsmen, Sentinel, Artillery Spotters and Catachan Devils on the field. Deathwing going tier 2. Has he got the... Oh, his play champion is down, which I've got to say. Has he got the Bile Spear, which does wondrous things against Catachans. 4, 5, 4, 3, 7, 8. CSM losing models like crazy. There's some Nurgle Worship. Raptors are going to jump here just to try and shut down some of that ranged fire. But Rival spots it really early and completely avoids that suppression. And there's the shotgun blast from the Catachans. Did not knock over the Raptors because they had their knockback immunity, which they get for a few seconds after they land, which is the case for most jump jump troops. Havoc's on the field for Nuke. Max Power guys has a plasma cannon on the way already in tier two. Not replacing his scout, so he's going to have a hard time spotting that Victor Alpha. Though he is mostly fighting in this central area, so it's not a massive deal. I don't think. As soon as he uses his special for something, he'll be revealed. 433376. Tier 2 for Snow now. Red team are all there, but here we see some power harass from rival Deathwing Hadden. A huge problem dealing with this army. Lake Champion is down, which is not helping, and now Maximum BK comes here to double, who has lost. His replacement Formagon Brood, I see. 418376. Raptors jumping in, and as they spot the Link to Ralva, they immediately back the heck out of there. Some Nurgle worship still going on. The power is completely wiped, and now decapped. Here comes Nuke, all the way from the west side, to try and help out. Barb Strangler doing its thing against the Heretics. Really good tool to use against melee Heretics. 410376 with the one to one cap sorcerer doing what he can, tying up those barb triangle warriors, but he in turn is forced off. And that is a very long retreat back there. The heretics, the heretics do not wipe or do they? Second squad just about gets away. 35 32 hit points. Don't think there's anything to threaten them in the retreat path, but this is a really good push over here from the blue team. Max, meanwhile, pushing mid, forcing off snow, and he will take that VP. A mass retreat from Rival thanks to the Raptor jump and there is Touch of Nurgle on his Raptors doing terrible, terribly nasty things to those Catachans but they do get away. Lictor Alpha going to town with those Feed the Tendrils. They are so incredibly dangerous and he loses two of his Raptor models. He does have a Chaos Dreadnought on the field though. So he does have a big lump of metal here to draw fire and for Rival to try and deal with. He's going for a Manticore here. He can get a Melter Gun on his Catachans, but that alone you don't think is going to be enough for a Dreadnought. The Manticore does do huge amounts of damage to vehicles. Lictor Alpha goes down. Yes. Plague Champion is still down here. Surely they're going to revive this guy now. The Lictor Alpha also going down there. Zone Throat on the way. Snow gets a Dreadnought of his own. 
Starts off as a melee walker, as you can see, two close combat weapons and that wrist mounted flamer, which can do some nice things for you, Max Power. Going for the assault cannon with the awesome. What is it actually called? Does it tell me? Assault cannon barrage. 388376. Two to one cap for red. A really good push by blue, but he lost the mid in the meantime. And an interesting choice by Nuke to come all the way over there. He's retained his VP, so it wasn't a bad choice. Blue team have this contested power of two gens on it. Look at this. Blood Crusher on the field for Nuke. Does not want to fight a Dreadnought in close combat, that's for sure. Dreadnought now with the melee resistance aura taking 40% less damage from melee attacks. The Blood Crusher can't really hang with that. Even without the melee resist, it would be in big trouble. Only 600 hit points on that Blood Crusher, but it is a demon, so you can worship that guy. Last cannon setting up though. Bang! Powerful anti-vehicle weapon that snares targets on here and look at the damage after just two shots on this Dreadnought. The Dreadnought now backing away and Blood Crusher weighing in with its heavy melee damage. This Dreadnought all of a sudden in big trouble here. And he has a plasma gun tactical marine squad. No sign of a missile launcher. One more shot. Yes, down goes the Dreadnought. Massive, massive victory there for Nuke and Snow with head in hands. I would think kicking off mid though. Raptors jumping in, no sign of their aspiring champion, that is a Basilisk Creeping Barrage from the Lord General, really good place to put it, great global from him, 338, 376, Max Power now marching freely against the Imperial Guard, the Sultanry is jumping in to initiate and they are afraid of that Catechon melee I think and they retreat out, there's the Black Grenades going off, we see that from Deathwing also has his Plague Fist starting to get some levels now, or some XP I should say, still way way down in level 1, Max Power's Force Pointer almost level 4, the Chaos Sorcerer into level 3 as Vestments of the Warp, Icon of Zinch which can do very nasty things to Imperial Guard, and the Sword of Flame. Lord General level 2 with Melter Guns, that Lick to Alpha level 2 with Feeder Tentacles back on his feet, and Apothecary level 2 with Vials. Still the 2 for 1 for red, 3 1 2, 3 7 6. Ogrins on the field for rival. That is heavy, heavy stuff. Manticore and Ogrins in tier 2. They have had no pressure on their power whatsoever, Blue Team, I don't think. And they had this contested power for a while, so they're doing good in terms of income in general. With these two have that auto cannon dreadnought and that assault cannon space marine dreadnought mid. Here comes Lictorafa and a bunch of Tyranids. Is Rival going to join him? Manticore is moving up. Long range artillery piece, but I'm not sure why Maximum BK is pushing by himself here. He must not have known that Deathwing was also here. There's a Storm Eagle Manticore strike to A8376. A good hit. Does he, he doesn't even take a model. Wow. TSM with their Aspiring Champion tanking damage there. Was that because he put Pestilence Strike up? He has put it up there. Venom Cannon. Double Venom Bruise, wow. Don't see that very often and they are both forced off and that was a really ill-advised push by Maximum BK. Heretics are whacked by Rival who's pushing with the Fight Harder buff up. Ogrins trying to go after the Dreadnought, are they? No, going after some CSM here, Assault Marines jumping in, they will do a good job against that Dreadnought because it's not the Dreadnought that has the melee resistance, Ogren taken out by a Plasma Cannon hit, they turn to engage the Assault Marines, do they? No, they're just backing away here, Rival backing away, that's good play, no need to push into mid without the Tyranid to help you, but he does have Snow to help him, Manticore Strike goes off, and now this is a dead Dreadnought, good play from Rival. Backs off for the Manticore Strike, sends in his Ogrins to finish off the job, I would think. There's User Red, and they do finish it off, and now they need to retreat out. Whoa! Plasma Cannon wipes out the Ogrins, I think. Good grief! 373, 359, that's pretty unlucky for Rival. Was a very, very good play until that happened. Wow, Plasma Cannon already paying for itself big time. 266-359. Blue team will retake mid. It's tactical marines that are capping with a sergeant and a plasma gun. The other squad 
of snow with that missile launcher lit licked her up and still making a nuisance of himself. And look at this, Snow has replaced his Dreadnought with another one. So they have another Dreadnought to deal with. He still has the Last Cannon Nuke. Still has his Blood Crusher as well, looks like. Done well. Tier 3 for Max Power Nuke and Maximum BK who has those double Venom Brews. Not something you see very often. He's actually purchased the Range Synapse upgrade on both of them, which he didn't need to do. So that was a bit of a waste. And Terminator's on the field for Max. Storm Bolters and Power Fist. There's a drop pod called in by Snow. Gives him another Tactical Marine Squad and reinforces all of his stuff there. Will also allow him to reinforce in the field as long as this drop pod is up. That drop pod getting changes in the next update. Now going to be a Tier 1 Global with reduced cost. 261334. Cyclone Missile Launcher. Trying to take out the drop pod and does so. Now it's the Force Commander himself, level 5, trying to cap mid. Maybe we'll see the Terminator armor from that guy. Raptors jumping into the Tyranid blob. Do they have their Aspiring Champion? They do not. But they're holding the line pretty well. Touch of Nogal is up on them. I think Maximum BK has spotted that. Yeah, I think he has 261315. Warrior Brood almost wiped out. Just now they do get away. They do not get away, I should say. 261309. Double Heretics and Mark of Corn CSM wading in. Level 2 Mark of Corn CSM. Down goes Elixir Alpha, does he? No. Blood Crusher doing a really good job here. Got a turn on those Venom Broods. Got to tie up both of the squads. And he does so. And this Blood Crusher should be okay those heretics should be worshipping there we go that's going to give the blood crusher some much needed health and energy regen meanwhile kicking off mid some nurgle worship no sign of a nurgle shrine which would help out here the plasma kind of setting up just about covering the mid vp but it is taken for the blue team 261 284 nuke is floating a lot of resources in tier 3 waiting for the great and clean one it looks like he's 200 power for that big guy Brother carries down. Has triple tactical breeze moving up. Get another missile launcher, I think. We have now some chaos terminators for Nuke. Spending his resources, so it looks like he was waiting for the red more so than waiting for the power for the Great and King one. 261, 266. Most likely the auto cannon for these guys, yep. Here comes some Mark of Corn CSM under infiltration. Level 3, these guys now. That Dreadnought could be in trouble for Snow. Needs to back it away. Ouch, really nasty Doom Bolts on those Tactical Marines. 261, 263. What's going on here? A Sentinel decapping that power. And Rival pushing hard here. He has Plasma Guns on his two Guardsman squads. And Raptors jump and then retreat out. What is this speed buff? Oh, he's gone for the grenade launchers with the move, move, move. Red team are capping mid just about. Terminator is trying to do so under fun. He doesn't want to risk another model loss, so backs away. Thunder Hammer Force Commander now with the Sacred Standard also. And red team do take it and down goes the lick to Alpha. That must have been pretty satisfying. This Blood Crusher is still around, level 2. Now it's Mark of CSM keeping the pressure up mid. You don't want to sit back and let blue team onto you. And Venom Brood get absolutely wrecked and they do not get away. Really strange choice to get double Venom Brood in my opinion. But he's got a kind effects up now. No upgrades yet for this guy marching mid. And Rival is keeping up the pressure on Deathwing here. Power is locked down. Plague Champion forced to retreat, level 3. Martyr spot is just about getting away. Here comes Max though. And the Chaos Dreadnought from Deathwing which was sitting mid. Heavy turret is going to go down soon I would think. This thing actually has vehicle armor. So you can't take it down with flame weapons and stuff. 231, 263. Down it goes. He wiped out some guardsmen there as well. Rival has stayed way too long here. Trying to defend his turret, obviously, but he lost a bit too much. More than he needed to, I think. 
As soon as Max arrived, he should have backed off. Nuke has his own VP under pressure here. Red team have a bit too much stuff mid. And blue team are doing the right thing and pushing the flanks. Khan effects with a barb strangler for maximum. Good choice. That's a Manticore strike here. A blind shot and hits the Terminators really well. And as you can see, Manticores do huge amounts of damage to Terminators. So if you can stun them or lock them in place somehow, since they can't retreat, Manticores become incredibly dangerous. 231, 260. Blood Crusher gets away, does it? No, turns back in and goes down. That's going to now get shots on the Carnifex though. Rocket run out from Rival. Out of nowhere and the Toronto Formation. It's actually knocked the things off the Toronto Formation though. So that's basically going to hit nothing I don't think. Oh it hit the Chaos Terminators twice. Now getting very low here. Down to one model in fact. And now they're getting shot to pieces. I have to teleport out. And they're okay are they? Yes. Nuke lost a lot there though. He got nuked. 2-3-1. Two, 2-2-8. Two, 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 Raptor's jumping and a Sulfur is jumping and a Sulfur is instantly retreat out. Not sure what happened there. Could have tied up the Venom Brood. I guess he was worried about Snow pushed up here and turning around and shooting the crap out of him with triple tactical marines. Here comes Nuke now. Flanking in with a Spine Champion Heretics and Mark of Corn Chaos Space Marines. I don't think it has quite enough to force everything away here. Two to one for blue. Put the carry back to his feet, but not for low. Manticore strike misses everything. And those storm bolters doing some really good damage to the Lictor Alpha, who's now level four with the feeder tendrils. They champion back on his feet. Force commander hits level five, and down goes the Lictor Alpha. Not sure what are you trying to revive there? He should have backed away. Here comes a land raider Phobos from Deathwing. Land raider Edema on the field though for Snow, and he's got some Stone Guard veterans now. I was expecting that perhaps since there were three tactical marines on the field. Down goes the Carnifex. That's a shame for Maximum. He's got very little now. Needed to really be careful with that, but the Phobos was right on him. Slightly faster than the other land raiders. But still not the quickest thing around. Has two twin link las cannons on the side sponsons. Twin link heavy bolter as well. Big champion trying to cap with the pestilence strike up, and he's going to be able to do so. Also has the armor of pestilence, so he's pretty damn tanky now. Another kind effect on the way for maximum. Really nicely hit. Cyclone missile launcher. Wow, that thing does terrible, terrible damage. Land Raider acting as a forward. Reinforcement and retreat point for the blue army now. So that's going to help them hugely in the mid. Still no sign of a noble shrine or anything. And they still have this power loss. Look at the dead guardsmen that died trying to defend it. What does the Lord General have? He has the sergeant, the medical sergeant guy. Catachin's capping. Bane blade on the way for rival. That could be nasty. Baneblade will quite easily take down a Phobos 1v1, but there are Chaos Terminators with Auto Cannon. We have that Cyclone Missile Launcher, we have that Plasma Cannon. Max has Missile Launcher as well, and here comes a Zinch Shrine, it is, from Nuke. Land Red Redeemer. They might not even know that there is one. Well, now Nuke has spotted it, and he is pressuring Natural VP here. Land Red returns to fire all of its weapons, twinning to Salt Cannon and those two massive Flamestorm Cannons plus a multi melt to fire if you get close enough. Here come some Plague Marines. Not quite enough by themselves to try and deal with the Land Raider Redeemer though. There's that Cyclone Missile Launcher and a nice really good hit there. The Melter Bomb also goes off. Land Raider caught in a very very tight place. Kicking off mid though, look at this, Carnifex pushing, he's gone for the thorn back now, 215, 156, blue team are capping there, and the land raider gets an abyss on its face, does a lot of damage, needs to move, ouch, whoa, look at all of the dead marines, that was crazy, none of them were wiped though, he might have wanted to use the angels of death there, 215, 134, double tap for the blue team, 
it's really hotting up late game. Carn effects is going to go down. Phobos getting a close range hit there. And the maximum BK being a little bit... bit too much gun-ho there. There's a lot of stuff mid, even for a thorn back to push. It's not, it's not like he had tons of stuff to back it up there. Maybe it would have been better keeping it back to counter-initiate the Raptors and Assault Marines jumping in. Max Power has a Land Raider Redeemer of his own. Nuke has a Phobos of his own on the way. All of the Land Raiders. And here's the Bane Blade from Rival. 21594. Those Chaos Terminators need to back away. There's the teleport out. Phobos being repaired. That Zinc Shrine is still standing somehow. And there's a bunker. I assume that's going to be a repair bunker because Rival still has his Sentinel. Level 3 should be getting his missile launcher surely. He's earned it. Manticore and that Bane Blade to repair the Land Raider Edema will also benefit from that if he gets close enough. Force Commander was down there. And he's level 9, this guy. Good grief. 197.94. Land Red Redeemer does need some repairs pretty badly here. That's why Kenny gets a hit. Who's going to push mid? It's Blue Team pushing here with the Bane Vader. Another Torn of Formation going off. The Plasma Cannon survives, does it? Looks like it will just about survive if he runs away now, but it doesn't run away and it's wiped out. Baneblade doing its thing, killing stuff from range. Max Power trying to finish off that Land Red Redeemer there with his Terminators and his Tactical Marines. Has a Land Raider of his own to retreat back to now. And he's not giving this up here. Is he still going after it? This is risky. This is risky. He's trying to take out the Repair Bunker. Demolition. Demolisher Cannon, I should say, from the Baneblade getting a pretty good hit on those Terminators and they are in a bit of trouble, bang! Down goes two models, are they going to chase them down? I don't think they are. A bunch of Chaos stuff turned up and distracted everything. Land Raider now getting a lot of repairs. They're now actually repairing that bunker as well, which is good. 174.94. Nuke really pushing here. Down goes the Force Commander, that will give a 40% damage buff to any allies close up. And the missile launcher tactical marines getting shots in. Here comes the Phobos and Plague Marines. All of a sudden, the Bane Blade under huge amounts of pressure. Carnifex is trying to get the double tactical marines out of the garrison. Was that? No. I'm not sure what happened there. I think Max stole it. And the Carnifex was attacking the garrison there. 174, 94. Snow needs to push up a little bit here. They're sat back a bit too much. He needs to push his marines up. This is crazy. Double Phobos. The Bane Blade is in trouble. And there's an abyss right on top of the marines. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. He lost all of them, did he? No. Stone Guard veterans survived just about. Down goes the Land Red Redeemer. And that might be GG right there. That is a massive push. From the red team, blue team, backing off a little bit. I think Maximum losing his kind effects is a little bit cheaply has made it much easier to push than it perhaps would have been. Doom of Malantai would have been good. Also, Snow only has Stone Guard veterans now, and that was just massive, massive losses from that abyss. Wow, he really got punished by two abysses in this game. More Terminators for Max Power. He's gone for more Cyclone Missile Launchers as well. Fine effects with the Venom Cannon. No point pushing there though. Bioplasma goes off. 133-94. 2-1 for Red. And surely they've won this now. I don't see Blue Team coming back into this. Another Manticore for Rival. I'm sure they would like to get that out earlier to hit those Land Raiders. 1-2-4. 1-94. Snow, well blue team floating tons of power but they've just lost so much stuff they are wreck starved here what is Snow going to do, he's got some scouts and what he's going to do is push the west side obviously that's all he can do here Orbital goes off mid 
must have been some snow. But he's got there's nothing there to push alongside it, so that's pretty pointless. 108, 94. Manticore going off. Chaos Space Marines in retreat, but they can just get back to the land raider. No. Deathwing has not activated the retreat point on the land raider, so he's retreating all the way back to base there. Big mistake from him. You have some Meltagon Raptors level 3, these guys are awesome. 101-94, blue team are trying to put some pressure on his VP, they decapped it. The Lictor Alpha is going to go down in retreat surely, Power Fist getting the last hits. And the Terminators take him down, 101-94. Red team staying cautious, not wanting to push blue team's natural, which could be a mistake. There's triple Manticores here now, that could be really nasty on a Phobos. That might wipe a Phobos out if all 12 of those missiles hit it. There's one. One of them is firing on this guy. He's to fire them all at the same time I think but it's backing away. Had nothing to slow it down or stun it did he? He's using the dirge cards for some reason. 85-94. Now it's being repaired. Bane Bane pushing forward again has got some repairs of its own. No way they're coming back into this though. Surely Red Team have this in the bag. If you can hit all those Manticore Strikes on the Land Raiders and push. Maybe, maybe, maybe. The Chaos Dreadnought now has the Mark of Zinch. There's that Frenzy Barrage out. Nicely hit on those Termigant 67-94. Some plasma cannons from snow would have been good perhaps, but he's gone for a predator tank and that is not going to last long against the foe bosses. Some las cannons maybe would have been good. Raptors are going to put their melter bomb, they're going after the carn effects here. They've already put their melter I suppose because he's slowed down. 50, 94 Manticore on the natural victory point of blue team. Force Bonner's level 10 gets straight back up again and tries to cap it. Down goes the Carnifex. Phobos chased it down and now can get some rear armor hits on the Bane Bane. Look at this. Double cap for red. They have won this. Snow with just a Predator tank which is not going to do a lot. They're going to push red team's natural but there are Chaos Terminators here. Carnifex with Thornback is going to push it but they're not going to have time because there's a triple cap. Max pushing up and going after their natural double terminators and the force commander and there is the victory. A steam bit of a steamroll at the end for the red team. That Abyss just completely demolished Snow and Maximum BK didn't do a very good job looking after his Carnifexes in the mid there. Should have got some Zone Thropes and Doom of Melantyres I think to back them up but he, he kind of got one con effects at a time and then lost it before he could get loads of them at the same time which is much more difficult to deal with. Look at the commanders level 8 sorcerer up that level 10 force commander level 8 plague champion level 4 lord general level 5 lick to alpha and a level 4 apothecary thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.